Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog. We actually weren't going to vlog today but I'm like Jason let's just pick up the camera and let's just vlog our afternoon. If we don't vlog the entire afternoon we only get a little bit I'll just continue on tomorrow but we're just vlogging the afternoon. It is just a bit, about to hit three o'clock. Frederick's just woken up from his nap. He's about to have his late lunch hopefully and then we're going to head down to the beach. When the time is right and I'm not alone I will conquer this and bring you home Freddy has now had his lunch. I'm just charging up our GoPro so when we head to the beach we can go take that. But I think we're going to head there very, very, very soon. You want to know what Jason's doing? I am looking at celebrities do accents. That's what Jason's doing. I've been a bit bored today. Yeah, it's been a bit bored today. He's just been watching weird stuff on his iPad and on TV and I'm just like, what are you watching? But we're going to head to the beach to get out into the sun a little bit. It's the last day with Jason until he flies out tomorrow. So we need to enjoy the last bit of sunshine we've got all together as a family of three before he goes away again. When this world has stopped and the breeze is so when the time's right, I'll sing you a song. Hey, I'll sing you a song. Hey, I'll sing you a song. When the horn don't blow, I'ma let you know. Just got to the beach and unfortunately I don't think we'll be swimming today because our beach is infested with jellyfish today. I must have known because I didn't wear bathers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason didn't wear his bathers, so he knew that there was going to be jellyfish. But no joke, we've probably seen about 50 jellyfish and we've only been on the beach for about two minutes. Okay, I just got done by an ouchie. <laughs> ouchie. <laughs> an ouchie's a jellyfish. Where'd it get you? It's in the little sand patch. I'm not going to rub the sand off because it's sore. Freddy, ouchie. to form it's about 3 30 or 4 and the wind's coming in but that's okay because Amy's got a real fancy microphone bit of a disaster man there were so many jellyfish down there and I'm not risking it because I'm the one that got stung the other day homebound now unfortunately Frederick had to get changed again we put his clothes on and then we had to take them off because he went down one of the slides and literally got dirt from top to bottom on him so we have to soak that new outfit that he got because he literally got it today so we'll have to soak that but we're head we're heading home and we're going to relax while we're at home so we thought while Frederick is just chilling and watching Paw Patrol, we're not really doing much else today, that we would sit down and ask or answer some of the questions that you guys asked us. High five. So we got a question here from Cody and she asked, have you thought about traveling to another country for a family trip in the near future and where would you like to go? Well, of course we have thought about it. There is things that we want to do this year, but there's things that we have to do this year to get to the things that we want to do. If that makes sense, like I have to, well, I kind of I don't have to, but I'm going back to work because we want to do something in this year, like go overseas. Yeah. But I want to go back to work so I can help with us going overseas it's quite expensive to travel yeah so me going to work is basically basically all that money is going to savings so we can travel one place me and jason really want to go is america yeah it's one place that. we would love to go to america i'd love to like just get a huge car like a panel van or whatever yeah 
put our camping stuff in the back and just go traveling around, like just drive around America for, you know, a month or so. Yeah. That would be amazing if we could do that. So we do have plans to travel, but it's just when and how. Question comes from Alora. You guys all know Alora. First question is from her partner and he asks, if you could only have five possessions, what would they be? So my five things would be my camera, the one that I'm using, my laptop, um, my little sculpture of Freddie's hand, which is this little guy. I would also keep my mum shoes, which are like my black sandals that I wear all the time because they're so comfy. And my fifth thing would be my wedding dress. Five things. This is tricky, but definitely this little guy here, my little Buddha statue. He's tiny and he's a, probably like, what the F? But there's a big story behind him, but probably Buddha. Thank you, Buddha. I would take my Buddha statue with me anywhere I went. Um, my wallet. That's two, not one. Yeah. My wedding ring, I said my wedding ring, but the thing is I don't actually have it. I've... We'll tell you guys in another, another vlog. Story. <laughs> my medals, yes, my medals that I've earned. Yeah. My iPad, I can't live without my iPad. That's, <laughs> really I run my life that. off my iPad. Laura's other question was, what was our favorite thing about being vegan? And I think me and Jason both agree that... It's for the animals. It is for the animals. We love being vegan for animals and knowing that we're not contributing to them being slaughtered and um, you know going through the pain of getting milked every day or I mean I'm a big one like yeah I understand all that and I agree with all that which is why I went ahead and done it when Amy approached me about it but the other thing like I'm one of those people that I'm pretty like I'm, I'm hard to sway I'm hard to sway and that wasn't going to do it but I just trialed it for Amy because I respected Amy's decision to do it and she wanted me to do it with her to make it easier for her to transition and um, I feel amazing mm. like that's the best thing that's another good thing about yeah. being ve vegan we feel absolutely amazing and that's yeah. so good that not only are we helping animals but we're helping ourselves yeah Beth asked us would you be angry if Freddie was babysat by someone and they gave him food that wasn't vegan. It's quite hard because Jason's on the fence of it where I'm different. I think it's very hard while pe well, we've spoken about it. Amy wants Freddie to be vegan because she hates the idea of everything. idea of the animals and stuff like that and I respect. But the thing is Freddie's a very picky eater at the moment. So whatever food we can, he needs to eat because he needs to grow and he's already a tiny baby with a rapid metabolism as it is yeah. like he's super small so like yeah if he's not if he's being picky and someone's giving him yogurt because that's the only thing he'd eat I wouldn't be angry whatsoever yeah at the moment Frederick is more vegetarian he's than vegetarian. vegan and that's just the way it is at the moment hopefully one day he will be vegan but at the moment we're not really super restrictive with his diet because he is not eating meat and that's the one thing me and Jason don't want him to do is eat meat. Our last question comes from Berry1645 and they asked, are we planning on having another baby? And uh, no. No. <laughs> well, no right now. We're planning on having another baby, but... But not right now. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment we're happy with Frederick, we're happy just the three of us. Um, Frederick's going through an amazing stage of his life and we really 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 enjoy it and he is slowly understanding you know he ba his baby dolls and all that kind of stuff and you know we as parents want Frederick to understand him having a sibling mm. so at the moment we aren't planning to have another child but we probably will have one in the future um, probably like one two three four five six years down yeah. the track like they are coming but we're happy with just our three Unless it was accidental. Accidental. <laughs> Amy. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say thank you for giving those questions. It was really nice to have like a little mini Q&A in our vlog. Oh, Jason just wants you guys to see Buddha. He's so cute. He's our little trusty Marusty. He brings the good karma. He does bring the good karma to our life. We're not religious guys, but we love that Buddha to death. <laughs> so it's the next day. It is Tuesday today. I almost said Wednesday because my days are all mixed up. But it's Tuesday today and it is just past 3.30 now. And because we didn't finish yesterday's vlog, I thought that we would just finish it off 
this afternoon. So at the moment we're just sitting down enjoying some outdoor time with the sun and everything and I just brought out a little bit of a fruit platter for us to snack on while we're outside but basically Frederick is just giving it to Tiger. Very typical, he always shares his food with Tiger but it's a beautiful day out here today and I thought that we needed to get out and enjoy the sun a little bit. We're sitting here enjoying our little fruit platter i want to know guys what is your favorite fruit to put in a platter normally mine are like apples or pineapple but at the moment they're oranges i'm loving oranges at the moment but i want to know what's your favorite fruit to put in a fruit platter freddie wanted to water our little fruit and veggies so that's what we're doing at the moment he's a good gardener today So we didn't need much to end the rest of the vlog so I think we're going to get going. We're not really obviously doing much today, we've just been chillaxing, chillaxing, chilling out at home and that's basically all that we've been doing. So I just wanted to end the vlog I guess on a good note, you know, not ending it abruptly, but ending it on a good note, us enjoying a little bit of sun with some fruit and some watering plants. But I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed our videos. You might enjoy more. And we'll see you guys all next time. Bye.